Hello, hello, and welcome back to Let Supreme Ghost Thief Gold. That's right, we're back with Thief Gold already. Well, as you probably see, this is um, the beginning of my segmented run, and I wanted to do an narrated intro for this to explain a few things. Um, now, I've said before that my goal is to do segmented runs of all the missions I have on my channel. Uh, but I wanted to do Thief Gold rather quickly for a few reasons. One, um, I have the missions fresh in mind now. I mean, I know them well, but they would require pretty much no preparation at all. But the more important reason is um, I want to show the playthrough vanilla style. Uh, in New Dark, but with no other modifications to the engine whatsoever. So this is as close to the original uh, version or the Old Dark version as you can get without playing in Old Dark. So, and um, I realized when I started my Thief 2 run in Mission 2 there, Shipping and Receiving, which I haven't recorded yet, I realized something that maybe most other people are aware of and I'm not, or I was not. Because when I played my Thief Gold run, my narrated run, I played it with New Dark with all the little modifications that come with the release called Tfix. So Tfix is the mod package that comes to install New Dark and a few other fixes that I thought was mostly aesthetic fixes. You know, um, game crashing fixes that you know wouldn't make it possible to play the game even without. Uh, but I came to realize that T-Fix and T2-Fix for Thief 2 then actually changes quite a bit compared to the original run. Um, it changes things and fixes things that are not just fixes to me. To me, there are a lot more personal opinions and um, uh, personal preferences, rather, involved in the little minute changes that go on compared to the original run. Uh, when I encountered a lot of differences in my Thief Gold run, I just attributed that to the fact that we're playing it in New Dark. Because when you play something in New, New Dark, you have to play it in Thief 2. Even though this is Thief Gold, we're actually playing it in a Thief 2 engine. Uh, and that is forced by New Dark. So I just attributed those, cha those changes to that fact. But that is actually not the case. Because when I started playing Thief 2, I noticed other changes that obviously wouldn't come from New Dark because Thief 2 was already in the Thief 2 engine. So New Dark doesn't change that. So there shouldn't be that many changes then in Thief 2, but there were that I noticed. So I went back and dig did a little bit more digging, and I realized that most of the changes in Thief Gold as well actually comes from Tfix or from any of the smaller mods included in that release. Now this is not a criticism of Tfix or T2Fix at all. There's a lot of good work done behind the scenes to fix things. Um, but I thought that those fixes were pretty much only aesthetic fixes. You know, changing texture alignments or game-breaking things that you can't do without fixing. Um, I'll take a couple of examples right now. Um, first example is an Assassin's. Uh, in Ramirez's basement, in my narrated Thief Gold run, I realized that taking the key for Ramirez was something we had to do, and that was the same in Old Ark. But when we returned the key in New Dark, uh, Ramirez alerted. So if you remember and have seen that video, I had to return the key to on top of the speed potion in order for it not to be an alert and a bust to Supreme. I accepted that, but it was a change that was noticeable. And I just thought that that was due to, okay, we're playing in New Dark, Thief 2 probably has slightly different um, sound settings or something like that, or alert settings. Um, but that is not the case. Because as you're going to see in this playthrough, and I'm making this introduction after I've played the whole segmented run, so I, I know what is going to come here. As you're going to see, we can return the key in New Dark. Um, without an alert from Ramirez. So that is not attributed to New Dark, that's attributed to T-Fix. And I'm not really sure why there is a change uh, after using T-Fix, because 
something must have been changed in the surface where the key is placed or Ramirez alert level himself. Whatever the reason or, or the change has, has been done, it's causing a difference for Supreme Ghost. Uh, yeah, that might go unnoticed by other players and it might be minute in some people's eyes, but to me it's not. So that's one reason why I wanted to do a vanilla run here to show you the original Old Dark run or as close to it as possible. Another example is in The Lost City where we have to push two spiders down a cave in order to pass by them and not get the, get the ghost bust. That I had a very hard time doing in my narrated run because the spiders hear the crates when, they, when the crate lands on the rock. Well, that is not the case here. In this run you'll see that that is very easy to do. Um, so that was again not a change that was attributed to New Dark, it was attributed to T-Fix. Now, a few other changes that are New Dark related I can also mention. For example, in Cragscleft, Mission 2, um, there's a guard or two guards that have a conversation right before you enter the prison area. One of those guards in Old Dark never faced out the window. So you could sneak up to him and take the key pretty easily. Uh, in my narrator run, I noticed that he was facing out the window, the way that you would, he would logically be facing. Um, in this segmented run, you're going to see that he is also facing out the window. So that is not something that T-Fix has changed deliberately. It's something that comes with New Dark. Um, and I know that in Old Dark, there was a problem with some enemies facing the wrong direction, or they didn't turn properly um, after a conversation or sometimes during the course of the mission when you were away they would change position same thing with the acolyte at the top floor of Crags left the acolyte that we um, that I had to and you might have seen Travis Whitsitt wait for fidgeting past the the table I in Old Ark encountered a bug where he would turn around randomly and uh, be facing the other way which meant you could get to that piece of loot that never happened, so I've never heard of anyone having that happen, and I haven't had that happen either in, in New Dark. So those things, and that's a fix that New Dark itself automatically applies, probably because certain scripts run properly in New Dark that causes enemies to face the way they're supposed to be facing. So um, for that reason, I've chosen to do this entire segmented run vanilla, which means that I am playing in New Dark but not with any other modifications to the engine. Nothing. Um, it's the original mission files, the mission original mission sizes. Um, I am not playing with New Mantle. Um, I have no texture updates, no um, optional mods that come with T-Fix. And I have even preserved the old uh, character models, the original uh, models that came with the enemy characters. Uh, that I didn't implement until Assassins. I didn't realize that that was something you could do. Um, so, but that is that is only visual differences, obviously. So, I think for the first three missions in this run, you'll see the the high resolution um, polygon models of the characters. But that gets switched. I think it's Assassins, or maybe it's after Assassins. I'm not sure. Uh, obviously, this isn't a narrated run, so it's edited, of course, so all the failed attempts have been taken out, so this is as clean of a Supreme run that I can make. Um, I have also included, at the end of the Haunted Cathedral, I have included a little segment where you can see how you can uh, successfully ghost that mission. Um, Psychosis, and I think it's j -Rood. I believe that's the user that I saw how you could um, clip through the secret passage that you're supposed to use the fire arrow to open. But you have to use New Mantle for that. So for that little segment, I have New Mantle enabled. For the entire rest of the run, I have New Mantle disabled. So you can get through that, clip through that, and therefore successfully ghost the mission, but it's only possible in New Dark, and it's only possible with New Mantle on. So I don't know if we want to say that a success, but it, it is it is a modified success. Uh, in this run, I also am 
um, skipping. I've edited out and sort of have a little faded transition for areas that are a little bit tedious to watch. For example, the spider pushing in Lost City. I have skipped that. Um, so you can see the beginning and the end of it, but the long, tedious section in the middle I have removed. So if you want to see all that, of course, you can go to my narrator run and take a look at it. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to do the same thing for all other segmented runs, too. And I've done it for a few of the other videos I have up as well. If I, if I have to haul crates a long distance back and forth, then I will edit out those kind of things, too. So there we are. That's my justification for doing this. And I hope you enjoy this. And um, hope you enjoy the other missions that I've uploaded with this release. So thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. no home, running messages and picking pockets to keep my ribs from meeting my spine. One night I saw a man. Folks just passed him by like he wasn't there. I thought he must have something valuable, so I snuck up on him and made a grab. That's not for you. Please, sir, I'm hungry. Don't tell the hammers, I promise. What is your name, boy? Garrett. You have talent, lad. Let go of me, old man! To see a keeper is not an easy thing. Especially one who does not wish to be seen. We have a need for those as gifted as yourself. If you've grown tired of how you live, then follow me, and we will show you a different way. Leave me alone! As you wish. I caught up with him just before he vanished into the crowd. It was the beginning of a very long education. Welcome, young Garrett. In the nearby rooms, I will instruct you in the various skills you will need to survive. Please stay in the entrance area to each room while I explain the room's purpose. When you are ready to begin your lessons, proceed down this hallway to the first room. You must learn how to move unseen. Stay in the shadows. Avoid the light. The indicator on your screen will tell you how visible you are. Try to reach well the top done. of the platform. Well done. I did not see you approach. Seen. Open this door to continue. When the door is near the center of your screen, it will light up, indicating that it is selected. To manipulate selected doors and other objects, use them. Now you must learn to move quietly. Some surfaces are louder than others when walked upon, and moving quickly makes Very more noise good. than moving slowly. I did not hear you traverse. Listen the to room. your own footsteps to hear how much noise you make. The instructor will have his back to you. You must get to the top of the platform without being heard. Beyond this door is a hallway that will lead you to your next task. Now get your weapons. To pick up objects, select them by centering them on screen until they light up. Then use them. Choose your weapon now. Try readying your sword and then your bow. You can always put them away again if you need your hands free. Now let's go out to the courtyard for some target practice. Ready your bow. Knock an arrow and draw back the string by holding down the attack button. Make sure you draw all the way back or your shot will not have full power. Take aim, and when you are ready to shoot, release your attack. See if you can hit one of these targets. Good shot. Keep practicing if you wish. When you are ready to proceed, approach the training dummy and ready your sword. Swing at the target with the attack button. A quick tap will give you a slash. Move the tip of your sword to the left of the target for a left slash, and to the right of the target for a right slash. Hold the attack button down, then release for an overhead swing. Try both slashes and the overhead swing on the practice dummy. Now, 
Now you will learn new movement skills. First, climb the rope by jumping onto it. Move while looking up or down to climb up or down the rope. Turn to change your facing. If you jump again, you will release the rope. Now climb the rope to get to the top of the platform. Well done. Run and jump across the, the gap were to the other side of the stream. Of them, Good jump. This obstacle is easy to skills. climb if you know how. First, move close to the wall. Next, jump to grab the edge of... I have a simple job planned for this evening. Break into a guarded mansion, steal another fat nobleman's priceless trinket, and leave quietly. Lord Bafford is out of town, and rumor has it that the captain of his house guard went with him as a bodyguard. The time is ripe for a bit of burglary. The front gate of Lord Bafford's manor is always guarded, and the main street is far too exposed. But Cuddy tells me there's a better way in. Around to the side, more out of the way. One guard, and likely no witnesses to complicate matters. The piece Cuddy wants is a scepter. Silver, jewels, the usual adornments. It should command a high price. Bafford, like most of his kind, probably keeps his treasures on the top floor of the place, close to his heart, and far from his servants. No point in waiting. I have Cuddy's old sketches of the place and everyone who's going to be asleep inside already is. It's time to begin. Inside at last.
And since I'm in here, I might as well pick up something for myself. I've been thinking. The sir could really beef up security some. What do you mean? What's wrong with us? Well, we're fine. But I've been thinking we should watch the outsides more. That's stupid. People to worry about, they're on the inside. No, then you catch them before they get inside, you taffer. Oh!
if he reads them or if it's just for show.
Dun, 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 dun. 